Welcome back. Well, you know that I'm not outside. I'm inside, so you know what that means, cooking. There's something I have been wanting to do for a long time. I love crab cakes. I love them. So I thought, why not try to do crappie cakes? So that's what I'm about to do. I've never done it before. Miss Kay's got it in her cookbook. It's uh, fried crawfish patties. But instead of crawfish and crab meat, I'm gonna use crappie. I went fishing yesterday evening. Cap five, that's 10 fillets, that's a lot. That's these right here, what you see right here. I gotta get these going in the oven right now. I'm gonna cook these on 325 for about 15 minutes and I'm gonna fork it like it's crab meat so it'll be flaky. I got these, uh, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm not gonna do it exactly like this. I got the, I got the trio, the celery, bell pepper, and onions. So I got that already chopped up. I gotta chip up the scallions that calls for scallions, so I'm gonna put some of them in there. And uh, let's get going. Perfect size fish I caught yesterday for this. The recipe called for a pound of crawfish and a pound of crab meat, and I think I got two pounds worth of fillets right there. I'll douse them with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a little. Think I can do this. I've never done it before, but I think I can do it. I can read the directions. Ooh, fresh crappie's always the best crappie. All right, I'm gonna do that. Leave them in there for about 15 minutes, and now we gotta stir fry the trio. So I'm gonna crack it down a little bit. Need a stick of butter. Everything's better with butter. This will take about 10 minutes by the time they get soft. Good shelf would have put both of them together, done them at the same time, but I'm just a shelf in training. Ooh, that smells good right there. I'm gonna use minced garlic. One tablespoon of minced garlic is one clove, one to one. So, you can keep that in mind. While we're waiting for this to cook, we need some kind of salve to dip them in, don't we? Well, you know what? I think I'll make it a little homemade cocktail sauce. Do a little ketchup. Yeah. Prepared. Prepared horseradish. Just a dash. Worcestershire sauce. About a cup full of lemon juice because I don't want to have a lemon to squeeze. Woo, tickles your nose. That's the way I like it. Okay. Now, one teaspoon of dried thyme. Perfect. One teaspoon of dried basil. I 
All right, quarter cup, parsley flake. Perfect. That was about half a deal. One. Two. Three. Four. I'm gonna put five because I put some heaping garlic in there. All right, stir that in. Whoa, two. There you go. Fifteen minutes on the dot. Can we flake them? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Looks like crab meat. Woo, look at all that meat. We gotta have two thirds cups of flour in there. Oh, it's getting better all the time. Well, I'm proud of myself. All right, now the last piece of the puzzle. We're gonna mix that in. You mix it in until it'll stay together enough to make a patty out of it. I think I can make a patty out of that. I got me a, got me a Dutch oven. Mm-hmm. We're gonna turn that on medium heat. All right, here we go. I'm making a patty. Wow. And I'm packing these. I, I didn't pack them first too tight. So I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I guess I need to pack them tight. Three to five minutes, that's what we're looking for. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh man! Look at that! <laughs> I did it on the first try. I did it, Dad. That's awesome. Awesome sauce. Look at that. <laughs> I showed you how to take the shortcuts with buying the trio, the magic. Trio. You can get that in the frozen vegetable section. It's all mixed together. Except for the scallop. Green onion, you know. I chopped them up, put them in there, but that ain't bad. And I substituted the minced garlic for the cloves that you would have had to dice up. So, if you want to go the not so fresh route, which it's fresh, I guess. There you go. <laughs> I'm just proud of myself. I did it. I can't wait to taste them. Woo, look at there. They look like you ordered them out of a Cajun restaurant, I tell you. And it's all from Miss Kay's cookbook. Page 178, if you was wondering. Yeah, let's see if it worked. Oh. I did it. I did it. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I thought, man, I love these crab cakes so much. I bet you crappie would be good in them. So, caught me a few yesterday evening. 
come whooped them up, and it turned out a-okay. All I done was read the book. There's a lot of good recipes in Miss Kay's cookbook. This ain't no advertisement, this is just fact. But man, I'm just, I'm fixing to get on these things. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave some comments. Give me some shortcuts. This is my first time. If y'all know a better way, put them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. See you next week.